What's up, YouTube? DPC19 back here again. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're enjoying the content, let me know whatever you guys want to see in the future. We have a lot of cool openings in the future coming for you guys. A lot of wilderness openings when the set does come out. Some tops wilderness and probably in like May, USPCC in the future. And what else? And a also complete first edition base set meta zoo set well yeah pretty much complete i'll explain every, all the details and whatnot later but in this video it's going to be more of a conversation and going over some cards so i had done a video where i explained not explained i showed you guys a complete nightfall set I had all the promos i had everything and then MetaZoo came out with a second wave of the blind boxes. And I didn't know. I thought it was second edition. I was like, oh, that's cool. No, it's a second wave of first edition. So we have the regular, the alt art, and we have the second edition, second wave alt art. And I'm going to go on a, a conversation about these. Because don't get me wrong, that is cool as hell, and it should have been the alt art instead of that one. I understand why you don't want to have, you know, multi you want to have two black ones and two white ones for alt arts. I get it. But let me just show you guys first. All of them, Mothman, the white Mothman, and then you have this one. And they're all supposed to kind of like glow in the dark with the pins. I don't know about the cards. Maybe, probably not, but they might. I, I have no idea. Then we have Wendigo, we have that one, we have the white, and then you have this one, which is the alt art, and you couldn't really tell unless you have them side by side. If you're like scrolling through eBay, you're going to have no idea, because the body's not that far off. Same thing with the chest, but it's more of the head you can notice. Um, and you kind of see an outline too. See right over there, you have an outline of Wendigo, where like here and there... You do not. You just have the regular body of black. And finally, we have T. Kettler. There's the regular alt art and the second wave alt art. And then here are just, you know, two extras. You guys saw these two in the other video. And then this one I kept. I opened it and it was damaged, so that's still an issue, even on wave two, of damaged cards out of the pen. So I'm going to go into all that real quick. There's two things. Two two things I want to go over this and then something else so let's just set this up all right there we go so I am fine with MetaZoo doing this I'm not fine with second waves being first edition especially because I feel like all that does is depreciate all these cards right here the commons the commons the rares and the regular hollows it's just you're flooding the market with something that nobody asked for it was already at the point where f the first wave was around msrp i know metazoo says we don't look at the secondary market yada yada yeah you do don't don't bs me <laughs> Don't, don't BS everyone. You, you look at the secondary market. Somebody looks at the secondary market. Especially with the Wubby promo was like this Green Goblin. You have three hours, which I probably should have bought some. But I was like, I don't want that second edition crap. I'll just buy the promo later. Now, as of right now, the promo is like 100 bucks. So if I spent 60 bucks, I could have made 40 bucks and kept, you know, second edition. But nobody wants Cryptid Nation based second edition like theme decks or release event decks or the booster boxes for what the hell they're selling them for freaking still msrp of 140 you you can find it for anywhere from like i thought i purchased it before for as little as 80 and i think right now they're around like 85 90 yeah you're not gonna sell you're, you're 50 dollars above what people are willing to pay for it and then all of a sudden you guys decide oh well we're gonna run a special where you can get this promo with these, you get two promos with this bundle and six with this bundle. All you're doing is hiding the fact that 
you know it's not worth that in the current market, but this is how we're going to sell it to you and say that it's sold for at market price, uh, MSRP anyways. That's just BS to me. Like that, That's their way of show, saying we were wrong or yes, we're trying to sell these cheaper and closer to what people are actually paying, but we're not going to admit it. We're just going to use this tactic of adding a promo from a famous uh, Twitch streamer. I think he's a Twitch streamer. Correct me if I'm wrong. And for three hours only. And then there we go. That's going to be... That's going to be it. You get three hours to get the promo. And you get all this second edition loveliness. And I was going to buy some of it. Seeing all the pictures, you see like five decks, five of that. And then it's like, no, you get one theme deck. You get one release event deck. No, I'm not spending. I'm not spending $140 on a Crypto Nation first edition booster box or damn near it. Like 120 is what it would have cost at least. I'm like, no, that's that's not happening. So this to me, second wave is diminishing all these. I kind of went off on a tangent, but that's part of the video. It's multiple topics, <laughs> but I'll get into it a little bit more maybe. These all get diminished. Anyone that bought first edition wave that paid MSRP sucks for you because it's worth the exact same ex as second wave. Actually, it's worth technically more because it's first wave versus second wave, but you get second wave for like 110 right now. I could have saved $40 a box if I just waited till second wave, which I had no idea about. And I feel like it also kind of screws over the places that purchased it. I'm assuming they spelled it, sold it to like LG, uh, yeah, local game shops. Yeah, LGCs, LGS, sorry, Jesus. Sold it to them because I saw a couple of them online selling them. And I didn't see any posts about selling Second Wave, which I thought was weird. I was like, okay. I assumed it was second edition. When I saw it was first edition, I'm like, why? It diminishes all the value. It makes people feel stupid for buying your product in the first place. Like, I would have just bought a box, called it a day, and then just bought all these alt hearts, and I would have saved a lot of money. There was no shot I was paying $110 for a chance to get one of these. And even then, it's just like... A lot of people, I feel like a lot of people don't even know these exist. It took me weeks to know those existed. And I just bought them close to what I thought they were worth. I paid 150 about for this one, I think. 200 plus shipping. Buck uh, 80 for this and the pin, which the pin I already sold. So around 150, I'd say that card's worth. And T. Kettler, I paid 90 and I paid 50. So. Instead of searching, I could just buy them on the open market. But there's not that many on the open market. I've been looking for like a week or two. And when they first came out, there were some. I didn't know about it. I didn't see it. So I had no idea. It just kind of flew under the radar. At least for me. And this was easy to get. Easy-ish. The tea kettle was the easiest. But I haven't really seen many, too many up for sale since. Wendigo was hard and then the hardest was definitely headless horseman i didn't see any for like two weeks i was like shoot is anyone even opening the product so i could buy it <laughs> that's the other thing I, I i can't see anyone selling them really much on ebay and if they are like are the people who open it even gonna want to sell it like it makes no sense to me why diminish most of your product's value so people can just buy singles. I wouldn't give a rat's ass about buying any boxes. If I knew all these I can get for easily under like 80 bucks, 80 to 100 dollars. I can get all of these, complete the regular set, no problem. And then the alt arts, I mean, probably around 100 to 200 each. Besides T. Kettler, that's like. 60 to 80 for the black one. And then this one, I'd say probably 60 to 82, maybe 100. But 
instead of spending hundreds of dollars on boxes to get not worthless but close to worthless as of right now commons and rares because i can't sell the ones that i have up they haven't sold because why the market's flooded with it and now the second wave came out it's even more flooded and nobody wants it if you wanted it you bought the box already you, there's no point of it so i don't know i just feel like they kind of screwed some lgs's i don't know what they sold it to them for if they were considering that MSRP is 150 and they sold to like LGSs for like 80 to to $100, they're getting hosed. <laughs> they're getting screwed right now, which I think is going to turn people off. Like I said, I don't know the exact numbers. I, I don't. But for MetaZoo to make money, I'm assuming they sold it to them for around like 80 to to $100. And they were thinking, oh, they're going to make $50 or $40 a box. No. Not a chance. <laughs> They did not. People are struggling to sell them at 110 and I, like some other people, thought it was second edition. And if you wanted to do all of these in second edition, I am fine with that. I am 100% okay with that. And I get as a company, you put second edition on these, all these are worth almost nothing if you put second edition on them. I get it from a business standpoint. But from a player standpoint and someone, a consumer wanting to buy it, I still feel like it's diminished value. And I wouldn't want to buy it just to try to get those. If it was second edition, hell yeah, I, I'd buy those in a heartbeat still. I'd be excited. I might even want to try to risk it and buy a box. But if it's first edition, it's like you're diminishing the value of the stuff that I already bought. And that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> so in my opinion, that's bullshit. You can't, that, that's misleading your customers. Like, first edition is first edition. That's it. There's no more waves. I don't give a damn if Magic does it. MetaZoo has not done that. And speaking of waves, I'm going to talk about the MetaZoo DimMac promos with the shirts. And this is the other topic we're going to talk about. So, you know what? Let me... Let me close this up. Let me get the other binder. And this is going to be a sneak peek. Oh, Jesus. Holy crap. Okay. That that did not go well. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what you saw, but I'm probably not going to edit it. And uh, it'll be a surprise to both of us. <laughs> All I know is if the camera flipped upside down, you might have seen my butt. I don't know. <laughs> but I contacted MetaZoo because I mentioned in one of the previous videos I wasn't really getting my product. I got the order from DimMac first, and then I got it from MetaZoo for my shirts. But I got the later order of two shirts with a promo. The one for... There we go. Oh, all right. So we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna do this real quick. So these are the promos. This one's coming soon. I'll do a video once this comes in. But uh, I guess it'll have to stay like that. Oh well. So there we go. Yeah, you see them all? Yeah, it looks like it. Excuse me. Um. So yeah, I I contacted MetaZoo, and I was like, hey where's my stuff like it's been two it's been a week since my original order got shipped out and you still haven't shipped out this one of six like y'all you guys just skipped by it like what the heck and it wouldn't be it's not it wouldn't be the first time they did it it happened once with the the comic with the promo uh i think chapter two edition two something like that it happened with that one where it was on pre-order, and then once it came out, I never got it. I had to email them, like, two, three weeks later, and then all of a sudden, like, oh, yeah, we're shipping it. Like, okay, I, you guys missed it, messed up. That, that's your fault. And this one, I was told that they send these out in waves. And I wasn't told this the first time I emailed. No, no, no. I emailed... Two other times. And the third time I emailed, which was two weeks after my original one got shipped out, then I got the, the email saying, 
we did not forget about your order. We send these out in waves. I excuse me? <laughs> what, what do you mean you send them out in waves? It should go in terms of order when you place the order. And also, I understand people fl buying MetaZoo and flipping it is a problem, and it is. But if I buy a bunch of them to try to complete the set, to ensure I complete the set, and I want to sell the t-shirts to make a little bit of money back, or I get a secret and I'm like, you know what, I'll just sell it because I it, it doesn't make sense to hold it. Let me sell it for three, four hundred dollars whatever it is, and there you go. But it is extremely unfair to those people that ordered earlier than a lot of other people and did not get their stuff when they should have. Two weeks is a very long time for a market to change on a new product in terms of these cards diminishing in value, the shirts diminishing in value. That is ridiculous. It should go in order of when it is. Not, oh, we send it out in waves and you get it when you get it. And if it got diminished in value by then, sucks to be you. Like, that. that's ridiculous. That's BS to me. Like... It, it it shouldn't be in waves, and if it's in waves, it should not be at, at random, because my later order got sent out first, and my early order of six did not. Dim Max sent mine first, then Metazoo's two shirt order sent. My six order set, uh, six six shirt order, before my two shirt order did not send even ship for two more weeks. Customer service did not respond for a week. And then my third message, after a week, they responded with, they get shipped in waves. That's not fair to the players. I get it. You want to kind of send it out in smaller sections. You don't want to send it all at once. But if people spent thousands and thousands of dollars on your product, Months in advance, when you get it, you should already be sending it. And I understand delays because of COVID. Uh, no problem. That's the excuse I was given the first time. Dimac has a problem with COVID. And they're delayed for like a week, week or two. Three weeks later, still nothing. Because we were told that we're going to get the shirts with the promos. Legitimately, like in early January. Pretty much like, oh, it'll ship out in a week. It'll ship out a week later. Then in February, it'll ship out in a week. Like, it took forever to even get them. And that that's just ridiculous to me. And I don't know if in the Discord they explain this stuff. But you should still put on Twitter or other social medias, hey, these are delayed for due to COVID. And that'll save you so much time dealing with it, with random emails about the same exact thing. Instead, you just kind of say, it's like, eh, I'll well, ship when it ships. That That's ridiculous to me. That That's BS. And I've said BS a lot in this video, but some of the stuff that they've been doing lately is pissing me off. Because <laughs> it's not fair to the buyers. You got my money months in advance. The least you can do is send my stuff out from the order got. If I, if I ordered late the shirts... And I didn't get it till two weeks after other people because you had so many ordered and you had to get all those out the way first. And that's my fault. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with you skipping an order and be like, oh, well, it's it's in waves. What's What do you consider the wave? It's definitely not in order of when you placed it or it's just an excuse for, we forgot your order. So here you go. Because I didn't get a message until after. I got shipping confirmation like 12 hours before, 6 or 12 hours, whatever it was. And it was in my spam. And shipping confirmation never goes in my spam for MetaZoo. I'm just like, okay, that's weird, but at least I know I'm going to get it. But I uh, don't uh, It's just, it costs people money. And if you just want the cards or if you just want the shirts and you want to make some money back from it, you can't make as much as you can. And that has nothing to do with being a a person that just buys MetaZoo in order to flip it. That has nothing, nothing to do with that. A lot of people buy MetaZoo and then sell what they don't like or they don't want and try to 
come close to breaking even or even making a little bit of money and keeping what you like. That's normal. That's fine. But uh, uh, it's just some of the stuff they've been doing ticking me off and it's putting me away from some of it. And after wilderness, I don't know. How, I mean, I don't know how much I'll be able to afford in terms of MetaZoo. It might just be buy a box or two and invest. And after wilderness, I don't think I'm going to do binder sets and all that because I need to save up for a house. And MetaZoo is just getting st stupid expensive with product after product after product after product. And it's just product overload. And I get it. You want to strike the iron while it's hot. But some of it's just a cash grab at this point. <laughs> They're just putting out products because they know it's going to sell. It's, and the quality kind of gone to shit for a lot of it. Let me let me see if I can show you guys this real quick. And this is a long video. I should have separated these two. I'm sorry. I might end up cutting this video and separating it. I don't know. You'll find out when it gets there. So, all right. So let's see this one. Okay. So we still got similar issues. Let's get focused. Focus. Similar issues with indents. I was noticing warping. Just imperfections in the car. The card quality, not the best in my opinion, which tells me it was probably printed a lot earlier. See all that stuff. Random little pin dots. And I've had issues where the card was warped as well as a crease along here because of how it was stored in the box it was just straight up moving back and forth there's nothing to hold it and metazoo this i know if anyone's watching this video you're not watching it still <laughs> but if you are and anyone from metazoo is watching once again doubt it if you're gonna have promos loosen something just please for the love of god it, it's not going to cost you much. It's going to cost you like 10 cents, 10 to 20 cents each to buy a goddamn card saver and to put it, put the promo in there. 20 cents, an extra package saves time and money of these getting damaged and screwing over your customers because that's what's happened with that. The Debra Ooze promos from what I've seen, that happened with that. It's just moving around. It gets hit. It has creases and damage on the back or due to the extra packs that are inside, bashing in against them. Like that simple stuff logistically and shipping wise, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. And they still don't figure it out. And then you get damaged cards and you're like, this is BS. You can message them, but it's just like you got to deal with weeks to get the card that you want to get replaced. It's nice that they'll most likely offer to replace it, but... I haven't had that happen in a long time. That was with the pin club cards. They said, oh, we'll send you new ones. Yeah, the original pin club cards were like, yeah, well, if you send us it back after me showing them all the damage, we'll send you new ones. But we can't guarantee that doesn't happen again. Can't guarantee it's not going to be in the same damaged condition. Just admit when you're wrong for once. I, I, I don't like how they are. But I don't know. That, that's it for today, guys. I've ranted enough. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.